Unlike Discord, Matrix doesn't really have the idea of server-wide or room-wide emotes. In the case of Matrix, they're actually called stickers, not emotes, like how Telegram does it, but a sticker and an emote are basically the exact same thing, they're just pictures that are not emoji. So these are completely controlled by the user, and that means you have to host them yourself. Now, Maybe one day down the line that will change, but for now, that's the only option you get. And if you don't host them, then you just don't get any stickers. But fear not, because it's actually super easy to do and can be hosted completely for free. So the sticker picker we're using today is the Mornium sticker picker. And the reason why we're using this one basically is because I know how to use it. There are other options that exist, like Dimension or Scalar. They all seem like they're pretty much the same. Scalar isn't free software, so maybe avoid that one. I don't know about Dimension, I haven't actually used it, but judging by this feature set, they seem basically the same. But I've had no issues getting this one to work, so we're just going to go with it. Now, the first thing we need to do is fork the repo. Now, I guess you could just download the repo and then make a new repo on GitHub for it, but we're just going to fork it because I have a GitHub account. So let's go to fork here and give it a second. There we go. Now we have a forked version of the repo. Now, I'll talk about why we actually need it on GitHub later, but for now, let's actually just go and clone the source code. Now, it doesn't really matter how you do it, whether you do it through HTTPS or GitHub CLI. I'm just going to do GitHub CLI because I happen to have that installed. Just whatever you're going to do to actually get it onto your system. Now, once that's actually done, we can actually go and make some of our new packs. So I'll just cut back. Okay, now it's done. So this repo comes with everything we're going to need to use. So the first thing we're going to do is actually CD into the repo. And from here, we need to actually make sure we have Python 3 installed because we need to run a couple of Python 3 scripts to actually make the packs. So if you don't have Python 3, which you probably do, install it with whatever your package manager is. So Pacman or apt or DNF, or if you're on Windows, however you install stuff on Windows, I have no idea. So once you've done that, you're going to run pip install dot, and this is going to actually run the setup script and actually install the scripts we need to use. So go through that, and I've actually got them installed already, so everything's already good. Now this is going to allow us to use two tools, only one of them you're probably going to care about, but the other one does have a really useful purpose. So the first one that we have is sticker-pack, and this will actually let you make a pack of stickers. So to actually make the pack, what we need to do is make a new directory. So let's do make dir, and then whatever you want to call the pack of stickers, so let's just call it, I don't know, emotes, for example. And let's make that. And from here, what we actually need to do is actually put some images inside of that folder. So let's say that we do something like have these couple of ones here. Let me just copy them over. They're nothing really that crazy. They're basically just some random pictures I had sitting around. Obviously, you probably want to properly select the images you want to use. Like for example, I actually have some other emotes in here already. So if we go to my packs, not packs, we go to web and go to packs. We have the discord one. This has all of the emotes from my discord server. Now, when you generate a pack, you're going to want it to be located in that web slash packs directories I just showed you before. So what we can actually do with sticker pack is we can run it sticker dash pack and then pass in the folder name that we want to use to actually generate the pack. So in this case, it's emotes. And then if we do dash dash add dash to dash index and then web slash packs, this will actually automatically add it into that directory for us. So let's go and run this. And what it's going to need is your matrix home server as well as your API tokens so they can actually upload these stickers to the matrix home server. So the matrix home server, you can probably work out for yourself, but if you go into element and then click on your little head here and go to all settings, and if you scroll down to the bottom of help and about, this will show you two things. It will show your home server URL. So in my case, it's going to be matrix-client.matrix.org. So let's go and take that information and then post that in here or paste it in here, post it in here. And then it's going to need the access token as well. So if you click on this right here, it will show your token. Make sure that you don't show your token to anyone else. Though, so I'll cut back to when I have it. So once you paste your access token in, go and press enter, and then it will actually upload the images to the home server, as well as generating this new emotes.json for us. So I'll just go and clear this now so you don't have to see it. And if we go into here, go into web, into packs, as we can see, we now have emotes.json. Now, I haven't tested this one myself, but if you use the sticker-import command instead, 
what you can do with this is actually pass in a Telegram URL and import a Telegram sticker pack. I don't actually have one to use for this. I assume that it works perfectly fine though. And now because this is just a Git repo, if we want to add those packs, all we do is do Git add web slash packs. And also we can go and just do Git commit. Let's just say uh, video test. Obviously, you should probably give it something better than that, but I don't really care for now. Also, what we can do is go git push to actually save those changes onto GitHub and give that a second. There we go. Now, here's the reason why we forked the repo. So let's go over to that version of the sticker picker. What you'll notice is I've actually got this hosted on GitHub pages, and that's all you actually need to do to basically host this. If we just go into the settings here and then scroll down just a little bit to where it says GitHub pages, so right here, what you're gonna do is select a branch. So just put it on the master branch, not server, not none. By default, it should be on none. So just select master, leave it where it says root here, and then click save. And then once that's done, basically it's gonna be on GitHub pages. So GitHub pages is pretty much just GitHub's built-in way to host things like blogs and various things like that, but it'll work just fine for using stickers. So if we want to test that everything's working, what we do is go to our GitHub name. So in my case, it's going to be brodyrobertson.github.io and then slash the name of the repo. So in this case, it's going to be sticker picker. And as we can see, we can see the readme. So everything's hosted just fine, but we don't really care about the readme. What we actually care about is what's in the web directory. So let's go and open this up. And as we can see here, now we have the sticker picker. So these are the older moats that I had. So let's just scroll all the way down. And here we go. Here is my newer moats pack. So you can go and do this for as many packs as you want. There isn't a limit to like, what is it? 60 for a server? Maybe it's more than that. I don't know the exact number. Basically, there's no limit. There probably is like some theoretical limit that your home server will have a problem with. But if you host your own home server, basically until you run out of space, you'll be good to go. Now it's hosted and everything, but it's not actually working inside of Elements. So what we need to do is actually go and add the sticker picker. Now, you would think that a sensibly written application would just have a button here that's like, hey, add a link to a sticker picker. No, it's not like that. What we need to actually do is go into our settings. So if you go to room settings, I don't know why it's under room settings, but that's just where it is. Go to advanced and then go to your dev tools, go to account data, and what we need to do is send a very specific event. So I'm going to leave this in the description down below because I don't want to tell you exactly what you need to write because I will make a mistake somewhere. The event type is going to be m.widgets, not widget. There has to be an S on the end. And what you're going to do after that is basically go and copy and paste this right here. Give me one second. This right here. And this is going to set your new sticker picker. But there is one part we do need to change, and that is the URL right here. So this URL needs to be the URL for the GitHub IO page you just made. So for me, that is going to be this right here. So https colon slash slash brodyrobertson.github.io slash sticker picker slash web slash and then make sure you leave this part in right here because that will make sure the sticker picker actually uses the correct theme. And once you've done that, just go click send. It will say the event has been sent. As long as you haven't made a mistake, if you go and restart the application, because sometimes it won't actually add the sticker picker down here. In my case, because I already had it loaded up, it just is loading new data from the actual website. But if you aren't doing that, just go and quit out of element, restart it. And then what you'll notice is you should have the sticker picker actually working now. Now, you don't necessarily have to use GitHub Pages. The reason why we're using GitHub Pages basically is because it's free and it's easy and it works. If you want to go and say host it on your own VPS or host it on a Raspberry Pi under your bed, feel free to do so, but it is a little bit overkill in this case. So have fun going and bothering people with all of your awful stickers. So that's going to be pretty much everything for me. But before I go... I would like to thank my supporters. So a special thank you to Chris, Joachim, Donald, Michael, Andre, Nathan, David, Montezar, Will, Chico, Bento, Joseph, Mitchell, Peter, the Tony Dushar, and all of my $2 supporters. If you'd like to go support, I work the links down below to my Patreon, subscribe, star, leave, pay, all of that sort of stuff. I've got my podcast, Tech Over Tea, available 
basically anywhere. And then this channel is available on Odyssey, Library, and BitChute if you want to watch on a platform that isn't YouTube. As always, if you want to go and join my Matrix community, there'll be a link to that one down below as well. That's going to be pretty much everything for me, and I'm out.